Are you familiar with what Jennifer did, the documentary currently trending on Netflix? A woman is dead and her husband injured after a home invasion in Markham. There was a knock at the door, then three gunmen burst inside. Why would you leave a surviving witness? It doesn't make sense. Well, on this adventure, we're going to head to Toronto to a quiet suburb where it all took place. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Markham, Ontario. This is a nice quiet suburb right outside of Toronto. And uh, I think before we do anything, let's pick ourselves up with a, a new BMW. What do you think? That was just a joke. So if you haven't seen the show, I don't want to give away a bunch of information. I'm going to try and keep it somewhat of a mystery. So you either watch the show or maybe just read the Wikipedia. I recommend watching the show. Because it's always interesting when you see what people are capable of, even if it's people you don't think could be capable of such a thing. So what happens here is this takes place on a Monday back in November 8th of 2010. This is a suburb that is north. It's part of Toronto, but it's it's north of Toronto's downtown. Um, it takes place specifically at, at a particular home on this street here on Helen Avenue that we're walking on right now. So... You know, what I find interesting is when you're looking at these things is the criminals and murderers that are involved is this is what they saw. You know, it was at nighttime, but what was running through their heads? What were they thinking? What were the people that were involved in this conspiracy or this plot uh, thinking? How many times have they walked down the street? How many times have they passed by it and they thought about the moves they're making? So anyways, there's going to be a home that I'm going to show you here in a second where, where the crime actually took place. But the story centers around a family. Uh, the Pan family, specifically Jennifer Pan, who's 24 years old, and her parents, um, Han Pan, her father, and her mother's name, it's very difficult to say, I looked it up, the Vietnamese term I think is but, or but, and the, um, or bic, but it's, it looks like it's bich, B-I-C-H, Pan, that's the mother. So basically, three intruders break into the house, we're going to get up on the house. They ransack the place, and they take the parents in the basement while Jennifer's tied up, allegedly tied up, and they uh, they shoot them to death, or so they think. The mother dies, but the father ends up surviving and waking up a few days later in a hospital and is, and is a key piece, one of a few key pieces that breaks open the story on, on what specifically happened in this bigger, wider story and wider plot. So... We're walking on the street right now. We're walking on Helen Avenue. And uh, I'm going to take you right to the cross streets of where the actual home is. Which... So here we are. Dodds Gate and Helen. It's it's literally right here. Um, again, everybody, be respectful. These are people's private homes. Be respectful. Be courteous. Keep that in mind. Um, this is it. You know, I really think this is literally where the killers and everyone who was involved walked in. So the home is right here with the civil car. This is it. Um, this is a home. This is this is the doors they walked in. This is the door that was unlocked. Everything happened here. Jennifer's room, I believe, is that one right upstairs with the window. Um, I could be wrong, but it's either the parents. Um, what I find interesting is the security camera footage, which came from the home across the street over here, that was so huge and breaking up the case and showing that there was more parties involved. Um, it makes me wonder, you know, as we look here at the footage, which home that might have been. I tried to look around. I couldn't really tell. Again, 14 years ago, things have changed. People have moved. But this is it. Quiet street. Not the kind of place you'd expect these types of things to happen. So as I give you one more chance here to get a look at everything again, again, it's the one with the silver car. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. And you know, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like really helps our channel, helps us continue these types of videos. And if there's places you'd like us to see or, or check out or, or stories you want us to get into, please leave us a note in the comments. You can check us out at surstoria.com. We love this stuff. Sir Story is about documenting history, the history that maybe is not found on Google Maps and the lesser known things because we believe that history is around you everywhere. It's just forgotten. Our job is to make it unforgotten. So... Thank you again. Like, subscribe, and uh, leave us some notes on some stories or places you want us to check out. We look forward to getting in on the next video. Thank you.